Hi everyone, it's Ku Francis Art. Today I want to show you how to draw a coily hair. The majority of people place a high value on their hair. It's one of those first fe features, those first thing people place notice on and about you. First I have within certain importance throughout history due to their popularity. Do you want to learn how to draw a coily hair of any person, be it a girl or a boy? With the aid of this easy step-by-step -step drawing tutorials, it's easier than ever to do so. All you need is just to get the pencil, a sheet of paper, a decent eraser and everything you will need to do so this illustration will guide you to each stage So it's not hard as you think. Draw the outline, get a pen, charcoal pencil, and draw the coily hair. Get somewhere. Step 2 Get your dry brush You know we have dry brush and we have sable brushes Mostly it's for watercolor painting but here we use a hard brush the brush they are not wet So in order to do this perfectly we work on layers So we are working on the second layer You use the dry brush to blend your charcoal layer that's some we are doing it on the screen you quickly do that gently gently pushing all the charcoal dust around the layer remember our first step draw the head of the person you're drawing and um, you you sketch the portion allocated to the hair and secondly you draw the curves with your charcoal pencil and also you blend your charcoal on top of the first layer just the same way I'm doing it do that gently so that you don't scratch your paper as we can see this whole layer the hair is, is now looking dark now one thing I wanted to know is that when you make use of this um, hard brush, it will definitely layer your charcoal well because the paper will be able to grab the charcoal. If you're making, um, you're using a soft brush it will just blend your charcoal it won't give you this particular particular drawing effect so 
I will mostly advise you to make use of this particular material that is the dry brush for its best for this portion of the hair. So let's go over it again one more time, you know. Brush this side. Like you're scrubbing. Alright. Okay. Step three, you pick up your blending stop and add some highlights. Just the same way I'm doing, we'll be adding some highlights, then we'll be clearly defining the dark tones, the light tones, um, the shadow, where yeah, the shadow falls. Yeah. We'll make sure we don't forget about that. Uh, so that our drawing at the end of our drawing we look realistic and um, so we add highlight at this portion of the hair look clearly and see this symbol and the way I'm doing it. I'm avoiding some certain areas. I'm just highlighting some certain areas and avoiding some areas so that at the end I could get a realistic hair. All right, step four, we get our hard brush again and we smoothen our hair. As you can see, it's becoming shiny because we are working with the hard brush. The paper is um, grabbing the... Most people always ask me, how do you draw in such a way that your charcoal is able to grab your paper? The trick is I'm making use of a dry brush, a hard dry brush, just the same kind of dry brush. But let's move on to the next step. The vibe, alright, it's shiny, it's nice, it's becoming a little bit realistic. Um, just that we need to add some highlight again for this particular step. 
So we're gonna be adding some details. So find it there. To this box and the air DVD. Find it. So we can inside. Yeah, so we decide. As a lady, find it. Beside, yeah, also. Step six. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh, this is the part I like. This is the part I like. I always love the finishing part. All right, let's add some little hairs at this portion. Pot. The, fin the finishing touches is always nice because you. Bringing a whole, just like you are bringing um, a scattered object together, and it's forming something you really have in mind to do. So everything is falling in to the front of the hair. The skin texture, as you can see, I'm um, using charcoal pencil too touch some hairs and also I will also add this type of pencil to the finisher by adding some dark shapes inside the portion of the hair like making the hair to pop up in some certain areas as you can see in this area I'm making I'm drawing Okay. Look at it, look at it, look at it. This is what I'm saying. This is a chocolate person who touched this area, touch some areas. Yeah. You see that in your first photo, is there? So you look at them by yourself and you touch some area. Like I said, it's part of my quest. You want to see how realistic it will be. And at the end, we'll make we we'll use our still use our dry brush. Now you you can use another kind of brush, make it soft, make it blend, make it blow. Draw one you choose. All right. As we are doing this, don't forget to hit your notification button to see more new posts and also subscribe to this channel. So I'd like you to stay tuned. Because I'll be making some videos, tutorial, an interesting video tutorial that you may need, and also making some hyperrealistic portrait that you love to see, and also share some tips. Right now, I'm sharing some tips on my website. You could go there, you could go check it. Um, some drawing tips, just in case you want to learn some certain secrets that will advance your drawing here.
honestly if i were you i would be the first to go there because there are some things you will not get in this video um but at least you be able to see them in the right one uh, so i would advise you to go check the blog post and you're free and also watch the other videos and those of you that want to really learn painting uh, maybe you should just go and check the blog first maybe i will find time and do some write-ups concerning paintings uh, but for now we're working on black and white right but that doesn't mean that, uh, that I'm gonna stop making videos. No, 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 no. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making videos. I keep making interesting videos. So always check the channel and also check the website as well and other social media platforms like um, Facebook. Instagram and the rest. Bye. See you online.